everyone, I'm Tesla Tom, you're on Ludicrous Feed. Today we're going to find out what the differences are between high, medium and low setting with a variable speed pull pump. And we're going to find out how much electricity each setting takes up as well. So currently I've got my pull pump on the high setting. And as you can see on my Powerwall 2 app, it's, uh, it's consuming about 1.2 kilowatt at the moment. There's a bit of a baseline of about maybe 0.2, 0.3, uh, for the house, with the fridge, and uh, anything else that's running in the house. But uh, let's see what happens when we um, when we reduce it to medium. I've also got a live feed of my pool cleaner, as you can see, and it's doing a pretty good job under the water at the moment. So let's move it to the medium setting. And we'll just give it a second for it to uh, equilibrate. So you can see the noise has come down a bit, and it's definitely on the medium setting and looking at the Powerwall 2 app now and it's sitting at about 0.9 at the moment on medium setting and now let's go check out the pool cleaner still moving nicely a little bit slower albeit but uh, not too bad now in summer when I've got my solar pool heating on uh, a medium setting is actually enough for it to carry the water up through the pump and onto the roof for the solar heating and uh, it's not a problem so you know a medium setting is adequate enough for my situation let's uh, let's move it to the low setting and find out how much electricity that takes up okay you can see the sound is decreasing feel it going slower okay so the app's telling me that there's 0 0.7 at the moment going to the pool pump let's just say baseline is 0.2 So a bit of a difference between high, medium and low. High was about 1.2, medium was about 0.9 to 1, and currently on low it's 0.7. So about a 200 watt difference or increment between each setting. Let's have a look at the pool cleaner itself. Still moving along nicely. I've never actually used the low setting, but I mean, seeing it out there, it looks like it's doing a reasonable job as well. My pool's pretty clean, so you know, I might think about putting it on low over the winter periods. But uh, yeah, as you can see, there's a big difference between high and low. It's like you know, 0.5 kilowatt. If you're running that for four hours a day in winter and eight hours a day in summer. That's a substantial saving. Uh, you're literally paying for half the amount. Oh right, guys, well thanks for watching. That's my little experiment with the uh, variable speed pool pump. Lovely day here in Sydney. Lovely winter's day. Hope it's lovely where you are as well. And as always, happy charging.